This is the Kentucky Wesleyan College Men's Basketball Coaches Show. I'm Eric Holt, here with the head coach, Happy Osborne, and the associate head coach, Casey Gooden. You guys have been practicing now for about three weeks. Talk a little bit about how practice has been going for you guys. Well, I really like our team, Eric. I think our guys have worked hard. Uh, you know, we've you know, been getting after it. The kids are really trying. I think we have great chemistry. and. Uh, you know, we, I think we have a chance, you know, that for our team to get better and better as the year progresses. What people got to understand is early, it's not going to be pretty. I mean, we're too new. Uh, you know, we're, we're not doing a great job of scoring offensively yet. We're not totally comfortable with each other. But defensively, we've worked very hard. And, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a work in progress, but, it's, but there's a lot of hope. Coach. Yeah, I agree with Coach. The, the intensity is there. Our guys are really working hard. Our defense is ahead of our offense right now at this point, and, and that's okay because you know if they can't score, then you know, they can't beat us. So you know we kind of put that in our guys' mind of you know get down, play defense, rebound, be intense, play together, you know, and everything will work out. You know, if you can get stops and get deflections, get turnovers, then you'll find a way to score. And right now our guys are buying into that until our office, offense can catch up. Obviously, you know what in our defense. Last time I talked to Coach Osborne, I don't think the preseason poll had come out yet. You guys were picked to win the GMAC preseason. Have you guys talked about that at all in practice? Or? <laughs> Go ahead. I mean, I, I, from my standpoint, I've never even brought it up. I mean, at this point, you know, that, doesn't, that doesn't really matter to us. I mean, the respect, you know, that's fine and we'll take that. But at, at the same time, you know, we haven't played a game yet. We haven't, you know, we haven't proved anything. You know, we haven't talked to our guys about it. You know, my point of view, I don't think it's been brought up at all. You know, our guys haven't talked about it. Obviously, our coaches haven't talked about it. So we're just going to try to improve every day, get better, and see what it, see what it brings. And I would want Arlson brought us fans and their players to know we voted them first. They deserve it. They have four starters back. They beat us three times last year. I don't know how we were picked first, but uh, I sure hope they're right. <laughs> and uh, you guys have an important scrimmage coming up Monday, the purple and white game. So it'll be five dollars at the door and a can for the uh, Daniel Patino Foundation. Talk a little bit about the purple and white game for us. Here, here's basically the itinerary for our purple and white and I think it will be something our fans will enjoy. First of all, the basketball part, our players are going to introduce themselves. They're going to you know, let our fans know who they are. Their job is going to be, you know, obviously their name, what they're, you know, what they're majoring in and one thing about them that nobody knows, which will be pretty cool. That could be I think that could be fun. But Coach Gooden will coach one team. Coach Miller will coach the other along with Coach Binge. And uh, we're going to play four 10-minute quarters. And what else is going to be really nice, Eric, is we're partnering with the Patino Shelter. You know, as you said, bring canned goods or a toy. There are 19 kids that actually live in the Patino Shelter. And their Christmas will come from, you know, activities such as this and, and through people in our community. And we're also trying to make it much more than just a basketball night. We're going to make it a Wesleyan night. Our radio show starts at 6.15, it'll go to 6.45. Our players will get loose for like 15 minutes. Then we're gonna introduce our volleyball team, which will be competing in the conference tournament that next weekend. And our football team, which, you know, things go well, knock on wood, we'll have the first winning season in Wesleyan. You know, in a while, Operation Turnaround is definitely, definitely going on. Coach Holst calls handling that. Then we're gonna have three talented young men do a song, and, and I think that'll be cool. President Darrell will speak, and then, um, Hopefully we'll have some activities at the end of every 10 minute quarter. Then at halftime, our sororities and fraternities are gonna, they're gonna have a little talent show. And the winner of that will get a donation of $200. So it'll, it'll be a really good night. We, uh, you know, it's $5 per family. That means, you know, if somebody wants to load their kid, you know, load some other people's kids in a car, and, in, you know, into a car and bring like 20, it's $5 for who you walk in the door with, not a person. Five dollars total, and uh, most of that will also go to the Patino Shelter, which will be which will be great. I think it'll be a fun night, a chance for our fans to meet our meet our kids and our kids to see a little bit about what Wesleyan basketball is about, and most importantly, a chance for us to, our program to give back to the community. And you guys open up your season on the road at Tiffin on November fourteenth. How are you guys going to get the team ready for the Tiffin game? Let's concentrate on ourselves. Right now, we're working on getting better, like we talked about before. You know, our offense is a little behind, so we need to work on our offense and execution and, and continue to play over. You know, we have so many new guys, so many new parts, and they, you know, they're trying, and, and it's not lack of effort. They're really trying to get, you know, where we need them to be. But at the same time, we have a couple of mental breakdowns here and there. But, you know, it's, it's not because of not trying, just getting to know one another and knowing how, you know, how I like to play, how I like to get the ball. You know, different different situations that you know, come up during, you know, a game or during practice. And, you know, 
we'll, we'll focus on us more or less, you know, because we, we need to fix what we can fix and control what we can control, and that's us and our effort, how we hard we play. The, you know, that game's going to be a great game, and then the next night, Wayne State is all, you know, a historically very good program. Uh, you know, Casey and I have never, to my knowledge, been a part of playing Tiffin or Wayne State, which would be cool, you know, the GLIAC GMAC Challenge. And I know Wayne State, uh, you know, has a couple of tremendous players as well as Tiffin, and both teams are very well coached. And it'd be a great challenge starting out two on the road. Uh, you know, the days are over when we're going to play 18 at home and, and 10 away. You know, for us to get in the national or get in the NCAA tournament, we've got to play the best schedule we can play, and we're opening up with that. And then next uh, Wednesday, we come home to Northwood, so our fans will. You know, that'll be our first look at our team in a, in a game situation. All right, coaches, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.